Hi, Gary here from Mr G Shave, back for another Friday head shave. I think this is number 97, could be 97, let me just check. Um, and I've also got something to admit, as you'll notice I'm already wet down here. Oh, this is the original Mr G Shave t-shirt that my daughter bought me. Um, let's just see. Right, yes, head shave number 97. Yeah, this is the original t-shirt that my daughter bought me, which inspired me to sort of design a logo for the channel. Um, and now you've, as you saw on Wednesday, my new t-shirts. But this was the old design, which isn't bad. I mean, I quite like it. You know, it's got the straight, you know, straight razor there. Um, but yeah, uh, the reason I'm already wet is because I started to shave. I've already done all of this and talked about this, but, <laughs> I lathered all over my face. I didn't lather my head. I put the pre-shave on my head, but I lathered my face. Get that. <laughs> <coughs> so, I'll reintroduce the, um, the razor. <laughs> it's the Leaf, looking forward to that. It's got Euromax blades in it. I think they're on their third use. Um, the pre-shave is going to be Perazzo Green. So let's carry on. And I'll show you the brush in a second. Let's put a bit more pre-shave on the dome because I actually washed it all off. It's nice and cool. We've got some hot weather coming. Today is very comfortable, it's fine. Not a problem with the temperature today. Um, but the temperature starting tomorrow is going to start going ramping up. Um, and I think the peak is going to be Monday and Tuesday of next week. But Sunday is, is going to be over 30 degrees, which is really unusual here in the Midlands. And they're actually touting that, that you know, certain parts of the country on Monday and Tuesday will hit 40 degrees. The Midlands, I think, with 37, 38 degrees is, is forecast. And it's going to be humid. So, yeah, so the soap I'm using, I'll show you the box, is Lear. Lear soap. Um, and it's a sample tube of cream that I got. Um, I think I got it with, with a razor I purchased way back when. I put about a toothpaste, you know, the manual toothpaste. Yeah, I'll show you. The same amount of toothpaste you'd put on one of those. Yeah. Um, that's, the, that's the amount of shaving cream you want to put into this. I'd already lathered my face, so I may need to add more soap to this. But let's add a bit more water to the dome. I am recording, yes, I'm recording audio. I have to check now and again. And off we go. Oh yeah, this is the brush. It's the Yaki Freedom brush. It's the red, white, and blue. Um, so that could be the US, it could be the UK, it could be France, it could be many other countries. So um, lots of countries you could say are, have flags that are red, white, and blue. Do you know, I think they sh we, somebody needs to design a brush that's a f called a freedom brush, a bit like that, but with the, the blue and green of Ukraine. That's what they need. I'd l I would buy one straight away. Right, so now I've applied the lather to the correct part of my anatomy. I can go ahead and start my shave. You ever done that before? If you're if you're a head shaver, I'm sure we've all done it. We're always shaving a dome, and we've put the lather on our face. I'm not the only one, surely. Right here we go. With the grain, this is a cold water shave again, because it's nice and warm outside, and it worked really well on the face the other day. So I thought, why not give it a go on the dome? And it feels great. Would I say I get a closer shave and less irritation? Maybe less irritation, but I don't really suffer with the irritation anyway. So, unless I'm using that focus razor and uh, fo focus dynamic razor and pushing hard on it, probably twice the pressure that I'd use with a Mac 3. 
but I'm going to I'm going to revisit that once I've finished my magnificent 11 shades I'm going to revisit that um, and do another face shade with it because I think I pushed too hard and I didn't give the razor a proper chance so I'm going to give it another go and also John June the guy that sells them here in the UK said try a Kai blade in it it changes it completely so I will be doing that but it's going to be, I think I've got 10 left of my Magnificent 11 to do, so. I will do it after that. I may even do a, a video on a Monday doing that, so we'll see. We'll see. But I have... I have got um, a battle of the blades to do. It was down for Monday, but unfortunately I can't do a battle of the blades on Monday because I've got another appointment so at exactly the same, well, the time that I would normally do the shave. So I'm not going to be able to do my battle of the blades this week. So it'll have to go be pushed back until the following week. unless my timetable changes, but um, I, I just, at the moment, there's no chance I can do the Battle of the Blades on Monday. Um, so it'll have to be delayed for a week. <clears throat> right, here we go. Let's go for the second pass. Oh, I do enjoy these head shows. Really enjoy it. Yeah, so back to the weather. Yeah, for me, I'm not really looking for... There are a lot of people out there who love the fact that we're going up to 30, 40 degrees. They'll absolutely love it. But I'm one of those that really... If it's, if it's dry heat, I haven't got a problem. But if it's hot and humid then I'm, my, my asthma starts to play up. Um, so that's why I invested in a portable air conditioner for my bedroom. You plug it into the wall, stick a hose out the window, and you know, there's a great big tube that goes out the window. Um, and I just flick that on. So I'll be fine, um, you know, because I have air conditioning, but... There are plenty of people out there who don't have that option, who, who are asthmatics or the elderly or babies that can't really regulate the body temperature. So my thoughts are with them really. Um, we've never had a red weather warning, extreme heat warning in this country. Never before in, in our history have we had one of those. So it's a first. Of course, the other way to deal with it is get down the pub and have a several beers. <laughs> nice, cold, chill beers. The problem might be is that they're, they're forecasting problems with power supply, so I'm not quite sure why that is. Maybe the, the external heat might melt things. I don't know. I, I, they haven't really explained why there might be power supply issues this weekend, but... Let's wait and see. I know they're forecasting that some of the roads in the hottest areas will, that the tarmac will soften up. Um, and might, you might end up with part of the road on your stuck to your tires. But it remains to be seen. Let's, let's see what happens. I will report on this on Wednesday for my straight shave. <laughs> Yeah, there's not a lot of soap left in this brush because I lathered my face first. <sighs> can't believe I did that. Really can't believe I did that. Right, against the grain. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there are parts of the world, maybe where you're from, where 40 degrees is normal. 
But you see, you, you're set up for it there. The UK isn't. We're not set up for temperatures like that. Um, it's the same in the winter when, you know, I've lived in Germany and they're, they're set up for snow. You know, um, they've got everything that you need for snow. Whereas the UK, we don't get, normally we don't get a lot of snow. We can't get a lot of snow, but it's not normal to get more than a few inches of snow, really. Not now. And snow in the winter is, is a rare event, to be honest. Certainly where I am, anyway. Um... So yeah, again, we get amber and red warnings. We've had red warnings for snow in the past, um, but never one for heat. So it is a first. It'll be interesting to see how it goes, but I, I've got a funny feeling I'm gonna be stuck in my bedroom with the air conditioning on, although I've planned a barbecue this weekend, so. Um, I don't know what I'm cooking on it yet. I'll probably do jerk chicken or maybe get some ribs and jerk those instead. There's a few bits left here. But that will be late evening, so it'll have cooled down by then. I mean, we usually start cooking around 7 o'clock on the barbecue. And we sat down at the table by about half past seven. Somehow I think we'll be sat outside eating our food this Sunday. That's it. BBS. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to the weekend in some ways and in other ways I'm not, you know. And it's my grandson's um, birthday, Joshua. Happy birthday, <clears throat> I think he's four. Um, so, I'm looking forward to that. Um, but that's on Saturday, so it should be okay. Um, I mean, I'm still, I've still got problems with my asthma. I'm taking quite a lot of medication for my asthma, and I'm still coughing up quite a lot of phlegm, but it's mainly at night now, um, and I'm not struggling for breath if, I, if I'm not too active, so I'm fine. It's only when, I, you know, I, I, if I want to mow the lawn, I think I, that would half kill me. So um, I wouldn't be able to do that now, but if I'm relaxed, calm, not doing too much, then my asthma's fine. But the minute I exert myself is when I, like going up the stairs, I can get out of breath quite quickly. Anyway, right, I've done enough nattering. I'm going to do my usual thing here. I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Cold rinse time. That's great. It doesn't feel as cold because when I cleaned up and washed all the leftover lather off my head, obviously I was using cold water, so I've already done a cold rinse. So I'm just, I'm not gonna bother with the alum. It's not worth it, not for when I've used the leaf, it just doesn't, it's not, not required. Boots, um, cucumber, tonic. Let's whack that on. That's so nice. Um, I'll let that dry in a little bit. So yeah, I'll be using, I think the next in the series is the Lord, it's the budget razor. So that was the next category of the Magnificent 11. So this is an aluminium handled razor. So I'm planning to use this tomorrow, but bear in mind I've got this party to go to. So I'll probably do the shave first thing in the morning and then go to the party, come back, and hopefully by then it will have uploaded and be ready to post. Because um, it's lunch lunchtime party, so I'll be back 
hopefully in time for four o'clock to get it posted up. Um, but yeah, so that's the razor for tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and we'll see which razor falls for shaving the, the beard off. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be the Edwin Jagger. Well, when I come to shave the beard off, I'm probably going to use the Edwin Jagger 316. Uh, I don't, I might go for the rocker. Haven't decided yet, but I think the 316 is a good, it, it's my favourite razor. So when I shave this off, I'm going to use a, a beard trimmer on camera. I'll, sh I'll trim it all off down to stubble basically, and then I'll do a shave with the 316. And hopefully there won't be too much blood. After shave today, a bit of Perazzo Green. Oh, my head's lovely and cool. Really nice. Oh, next to no burn. A few pins and needles, but nothing. Nothing really. Not even a one out of ten. Which justifies my decision not to use alum. It just wasn't worth it. Oh, I do love the scent on that. And then I'm using, using Leah Aftershave Bar. And I think this has got some cooling stuff in it. I'm going to shake this. And I'm just going to use that much. Probably too much, but it's fine. So yeah, tomorrow will be the next one of my Magnificent 11, which is the Lord Razor. Really cheap, really budget friendly razor but a bit on the aggressive side. It's not a beginner razor at all, I don't think. But anyway, I will um, see you then. It's bye-bye from me and it's, uh, hang on, got to straighten this out. And it's bye-bye from the leaf razor. It's all right, the grip had just squashed up. So yeah, bye-bye from me, bye-bye from the leaf razor and I'll see you all tomorrow for the face shave at some point. Bye now.